So what we have here is the completed engine stand. Mostly complete. Some of the wiring still needs to be organized a little better. <clears throat> but it does work. Um, this is a 351M400 I have on it for mock-up purposes. I guess I'll go on and try to run this motor too. I'm um, making another video of how to start a worn out engine. And this certainly is worn out. Um, let's see. I'll show you some of the things I've done. Well, as you can see here, there's enough space to accommodate the flywheel, or the flex plate, I should say. And for the starter, I've run a starter plate. These are cheap. You can buy them off of eBay. That way I don't have to have a transmission or a bell housing hooked up. Uh, the these are uh, for to be uh, used on the lift, the rotary lift, and that will stabilize it if it needs to be stabilized. I've yet to build a place for a battery. Um, let's see. Of course, you've got the adjustable stabilizers that can move in and out and up and down along that cross member and of course these right here are on a homemade bearing so as you twist this this can stay stationary but still go up I've got a, a um, truck Avenger carburetor bolted on this engine at the moment I'm not sure about the distributor wiring the distributor uh, vacuum advance should not be pointed over there and I'm not really sure where number one is I think it's actually gonna be this wire but I'll deal with that later still need to uh, pull the fuel line off and flush it out it's actually not even on right now just kind of looks like it uh, I need a connector for this for the distributor plug and I'm running a stock style DuraSpark 2 module and um, feeding it with 12 volts and the ignition coil on a DuraSpark system only gets 9 volts while in the run position so I've installed a ballast resistor off of a 71, I think, Chrysler product. Uh, it's the only resistor, ballast resistor, available for those. The key switch is off of a lawnmower. And um, I m messed up with it. I should have just gotten a universal one. Because uh, when I put it in the run position, I thought this wire would be hot, but it's not. That seems to be a useless wire. This is the starting wire. This is the main power wire. Um, let's see. The radiator support can adjust in and out. And we have adjustability up and down of the radiator and gauge assembly via this tubing here there's a bolt on the back side that can be loosened up and this tubing here and this whole assembly will slide up and down this is the master ignition yeah, those gauges are cheap there we go and I guess that's about it I need to include a video of this thing running sometime and I may put a more detailed video on how I built this up soon so be watching for that I don't know if you know what this is this is called friction tape you can buy it at Walmart and there's other places to buy it too but uh, Walmart's pretty a pretty inexpensive place to buy it from uh, I've got a bunch of it and bigger rolls but friction tape is, to me is better than vinyl tape and and application like this because the adhesive doesn't melt and become all gooey like regular vinyl electrical tape 
So I wrap my wiring harnesses with friction tape instead. And um, anyway, that may be the only useful thing from this video. Um, things I would do differently. I definitely would start with a better base. The base is okay, but the metal was just scrap and about five different people built this thing over the span of three months. The, the actual base, not the not the engine stand. This was just an engine stand to begin with. Now it's a test stand slash engine stand. Um, so I would definitely do that. I wouldn't bolt. I mean, I would, I would bolt these casters on rather than weld them. I'd also put two fixed casters probably in the back and two swivel casters in the front with brakes. This should be more form fitting. It's a bear to rotate this. And there's no provision for spinning it. You should be able to stick a pipe in there. Um, these were torched out and should have been milled. And uh, it works. So I'm not necessarily complaining, but that I would do differently. To contrast, this is a much better engine stand over here. You can see these are thicker. That's nice. It has an easy way to adjust the engine. And um, two fixed casters in the back, two swivel casters in the front. And uh, this is actually the engine I'm going to run on that engine stand for, yeah, well, I'm going to run it at length to make sure it's in ship shape before I drop it into the truck. This is a, a 460 board 60 over. And uh, I don't remember any of the other specs. It, it used to run Dove C heads, but I'm swapping those. For D3 heads that I've ported um, simply because the mo motor overheated even with two in radiators and um, I think it was due to a detonation problem due to too much compression and not enough octane so by lowering the compression ratio with the D3 heads I should be able to run pump gas without overheating, without detonation. And I know a bunch of you are gonna come on here and say that you're doing that right now, and I think that's wonderful, but uh, that was not the case for me. These are um, the D0VE, the Doves, and they're in great shape. Um, I need to do something with them, but I haven't decided just yet. Anyway, um, I guess that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, just put them down in the uh, comment section below. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.